Welcome back guys, I'm back in Maryland, off, hot off my trip from Florida. As I was down there, uh, I ordered some parts for the old Ninja here that I got from my wife. That was my very first video I did, I mentioned when I was down in Florida. Um, my wife is at 500 miles on the bike, uh, so at 500 miles it's due for its first maintenance. So, I got oil filter, oil filter kit just to change that out. And then also my wife bought... Two Brothers Racing Exhaust. Uh, obviously, I have more parts over there for the exhaust itself. It's not just, hey, slap the can on and go. It actually changes all the pipes out, too, as well. So that's what we'll be doing today. Here we go. All right. To change the oil, you don't technically need to remove the fairing. Uh, I did to gain access to the exhaust to get everything out of the way. I don't want anything broken. I don't want anything damaged. Um, to remove the fairing, you have a bolt here, bolt here these bolts up here and then you have a bunch of push pins back through here and, and up underneath here after that it'll all slide off and pop off but you do have to disconnect the turn signal wire which is up in here once that's done the whole thing comes right off hopefully everything goes back together uh, as easily as it came off the only problem I had is I lost one of the push pins down on the floor somewhere when I dropped my uh, screwdriver hit this push pin bounced up I just got to find it no big deal other than that uh, yeah, let's change the oil on this. The drain plug for the crankcase is right here. You have the oil filter on the front side of here. So I'm going to take this off first. Then also I'll, I'll slide the oil pan and go ahead and remove the uh, oil filter, which is on the front side of here. Uh, the bolt on this is going to be a 17 mil. Let's see if we break this loose. There she flows. So don't forget to lube your gasket here. Which I'm doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Now we're on to the final piece of this oil change. Now always again, make sure that this is tight, which it is. I have this cranked right down. I got a little bit more of a turn to it. Now the most important part of this oil change is, well, you have to put oil in this bike. Uh, the oil fill is up here. And then your sight glass is right down here. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure the oil come. There's uh, two sets of lines, one set of line here and one set of line here. You want to make sure the oil is somewhere in between these lines. This is the absolute max it can take, and this is the absolute minimum it can take. So you want to make sure it's as pretty close to the top as you can. Everything is, I'm, I'm on a lift, so everything's on a level surface. The bike is on the ground. So you always want to double check, make sure it is in between here. And it's always a good idea before you start any kind of long ride, always just periodically double check uh, your oil level. Uh, nothing would suck more as if you're out on a pretty long ride and all of a sudden your engine seizes because, well, you never checked your oil. That's something that's very easy and very preventable. Now the oil that we'll be using today is, I got straight from the, the dealer I bought the bike at. It's uh, going to be Yamalube, it's 10W40. Uh, they gave me two quarts, so all I'm going to do is put the old funnel in here and then uh, go to town. Alright, quart one. And well, wouldn't you know, it looks like it took the exact amount what they said. Uh, a full two quarts. And that's it. It's actually leveled right off at the top of the oil level marks. All right, so we just did the oil change. First maintenance on the Ninja. It's at the 500 mile mark. Uh, second phase of this is we're going to install uh, an exhaust. Uh, my brother, uh, yeah, my brother. My wife has opted for the Two Brothers Silver Series carbon fiber exhaust. Uh, this is what she chose. I had absolutely no bearing in or saying as to what she wanted because this is her bike. Um, I think she chose this because, well, it's black and she wanted everything else to be black and she wanted it to be loud. And from everything that she could tell online is this is one of the loudest and most obnoxious exhausts out there because, well, my bike is extremely loud and it is extremely obnoxious and she wanted to be more so than me. So, according to the instructions, I kind of guessed right. You have to remove the... Uh, the right side fairing uh, first after securing the bike, which I already did for the oil change, and then remove the uh, right side front fairing, which I did uh, because I also wanted to check coolant levels and everything else, so we're good on that. Next, they want us to remove the uh, the foot 
rest assembly so this entire thing has to come off and then just to access the hangers underneath here on the exhaust now the new exhaust is a nice flow through design there's literally no restriction i mean you see some baffling in here and some uh some fibers probably uh to for the exhaust fumes and whatnot but this is a pretty non-restrictive system it's going to replace the piping and everything all the way up uh, headers all the way on back so uh future me will uh, compare this exhaust to the factory exhaust so future me take it away all right thanks past me well this is future me uh yeah so the differences in the exhaust this is the actual muffler versus this is being the muffler from the factory uh, this obviously the pipe comes up through here you have your catalytic converter in through here um all the baffling just like a car muffler would be now it gives you the proper brat back pressure it meets all 50 state uh, emissions regulations and noise ordinances but you know what it just doesn't work. I mean, who buys a bike to say, yeah, that thing's quiet, that thing is nice. No, you buy a bike, you want to be loud, obnoxious, and, and heard, and and so on and so forth. And my wife, well, she likes being loud and obnoxious sometimes. So uh, with this system, I mean, this is pretty heavy, pretty, pretty inclusive. Um, now, the new system is like, like a quarter of the weight. It's it's a ways physically. It feels like absolutely nothing. So, well, that's what we got. Well, let's install this and see what happens. Back from the future. Uh, what we're doing right now is I'm going to get the uh, correct Allen keys and remove the rear uh, footrest assembly. And then once I do that, we'll go on to step two. All right, the bolt housing for the upper hangers are going to be 12 millimeter if someone's doing this. The way everything is, the front bolt, you're either going to need to use an extension or a swivel extension with a short, uh, with a shorty on here. Don't, the, the long will, will reach back, but the, the front one, you're going to need a short one with a, uh, like a swivel extension on the end, or just a regular extension. Uh, you can make it work. All right, now we're going to remove the front header nut assemblies. Uh, there's four nuts. They are all 12 millimeters, so you want a deep uh, socket with an extension to uh, get all the clearances that you need. Oh yeah, it probably goes without saying, but make sure that this bike is totally cooled off because uh, you can see you'd burn yourself pretty badly if it wasn't. All right, all four nuts are off. Whole assembly should come right on out somehow. Some way, just like so. What we have to do is install this bracket over the hanger that is uh, with the factory. So the side with the two bolts are gonna, is going to go on your right side. The side, the single side is going to go on the left. Now this is going to go over the supplied factory hardware. So it's going to go over the bracket. So everything's going to be, be pinched in between. You have to stretch this out just a hair to make everything fit. So that is push over this just a hair and they want you to use the supplied nuts and bolts which I'm about to install one two three and now just put the bolts on and then we'll tighten this all down we have the bracket, as you saw, installed. Now we are to attach the muffler loosely onto the pipe itself using the cl uh, supplied clamps and hardware that Two Brothers gives you. Now I'm trying to keep the plastic on the pipe, to, and I'm wearing gloves so I can reduce the amount of fingerprints because once you start the bike up, if you don't have all your fingerprints off of the pipe, uh, they get burned onto there. No amount of cleaning will ever, ever, ever take them off. So always make sure you have the pipe clean uh, before uh, startup. I do not have an O2 sensor. I never removed an O2 sensor from the factory exhaust, but I have a bung here for an O2 sensor. They give you an adapter for a smaller O2 sensor that would fit in here. And they also give you, thank God, because I freaked out a little bit, a O2 sensor block-off uh, uh, block plate 2 for the bung 2 as well. 
They also give you a copper crush washer, make sure that goes in so you prevent any kind of leaks. So at this point in time, because I'm to the step where I'm going to start hanging the exhaust, while it's off, I'm just going to put that on, tighten that down so I don't have to kind of wrestle with that later. Again, this is the step that you'd install your O2 sensor, your O2 sensor adapter, then your O2 sensor, or your uh, block off plate, as in my case, with the, uh, with the copper gasket. All right, now we are to the point in time where we install the exhaust. We are to uh, slip this onto here, clamp it down onto the bracket up here, and then after we're done with that, install the exhaust itself, uh, the, the headers to the actual cylinders. torquing them down fairly snug again it didn't take much to back these off so shouldn't take much to put them back on so there you have it everything's installed everything is done fairings are back on nothing broke which is a bonus so here is fire up uh, again we had it before shall be the after. Yeah, so substantial difference. Uh, I know you guys don't know me for bike stuff, but hey, stuff is stuff and it's something different. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, I have some more stuff coming in for the truck. Yeah, then, what are you talking about? You spent $400? What's that about? Yeah, okay. I, I got to go explain to my wife what I just did. Uh, anyways, hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Until then, go do some stuff.